Oh. Finally. Finally, I'm playing Mass Effect 1 for the first time, even. I played Mass Effect 2, especially 2. So goddamn often I have like 20 suicide missions on my YouTube channel. And Mass Effect 3, I played it twice, but I've now played this game. And I, more originally with Steam and EA app, I couldn't even get it to launch. Now, we're jumping in it fully modded. I have Star Wars themed mods, I got a reshade mod without a face cam, of course, we're playing it. I got a reshade mod, I got everything for squad mates, new armors and stuff. I don't even know what exactly I or have installed. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. But you will see. <laughs> uh, you will see. You are seeing already. We're gonna play female shepherd. Damn, the model actually looks badass. Do I need to say more? Please log in to access your profile. No, I'm gonna put her name uh, Ahoka. <laughs> it's not Ahoka, it's Ahsoka. Damn it, I already knew that I'm gonna put her name. Even though I watched the show. Damn it, damn it. Oh, I like Ahoka actually, Ahoka sounds fun. Ahoka Shepherd. Ahoka Tano Shepherd. No, I typed it in a Hokatano. Good. Good. Yeah, that looks good. Profile reconstruction complete. A Hokutano Shepard. A Hokwa. Ah. I apologize for the lack of Star Wars knowledge, especially how to spell stuff. Anyways. Class soldier. Um. Back. Please log in to access your profile. Back. Please log in to access profile reconstruction complete. Tell me I can change that. Identification confirmed. I'm gonna play normal, I don't know what's up. Subtitles accept. Hey, that looks pretty high quality. A loading screen. Oh, okay. And know what those things do ah, okay oh that looks good first data recovery backtracking i'm just gonna start So it's black or white. Let's use black. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Confirm. Just talk. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of her family doesn't have one. She was raised on the streets, learned to look out for herself. She saw her whole unit die on a cruise. She could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. I hope I can transfer her, but I don't have those hopes up. I haven't seen anything on that and there's no L2 or L3 version. But damn, the mod looks so good. I'm not reading that. I'm just not reading that. Oh yeah, hi. The Arcturus Again. Prime relay is in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander? 
Normandy mod. That's not the Normandy anymore. Normandy has been replaced. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. Hot. All stations secure for transit. Looks good. Oh, yeah. The board is green. Approach run has begun. Hitting the relay in three, two, one. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Ugh. Look at those eye textures. I gotta check who made that mod. It will be linked in my description. But I already am amazed. Skip the, get the text away. Get the text away. I'm gonna put Paragon. Paragon Patrick Steele in the house. And they don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting on. Joker. Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. Oh, damn, that mod is good looking. I'm kind of sad I didn't have that for LA2 was LA3 available. Game is also looking graphically pretty good, I would say. I thought it would be worse. I did not download any texture mods besides 2K cutscenes yet. You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. The captain's waiting for you in the comm room, Commander. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna even go down on the planet in the first part. And we're getting dragged right along with him. Relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself an ulcer. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down in engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks too. Plus there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, ma'am. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. 
Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. Good intuitions. More logic. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. The voice fits Sokotano also very well. Very cool. Cool? Calm. Damn it. Something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. Oh, thanks. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. You watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. What's my audio doing? Oh, I could turn it up a little bit. You probably didn't see the uh, difference. Just a loading screen. Add up. You. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely oh. hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. So. I played this game for the first time, but I've seen a lot of gameplay. Another full let's play here and there. I've watched some streams, so I know what's up. So relax, Jenkins. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Oh, you'll do fine. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coos. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't mm -hmm. do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not going to screw this up. Uh-huh. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. They're always getting dropped into impossible situations, forced to survive unbeatable odds, just like you on a coos. I would also be a good Jedi. Just saying. Why don't we have any of our own people in oh, there? Damn it. Spectres you They're always getting dropped into impossible situations, forced to survive unbeatable odds. You're from Eden odds. Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Eden Prime. Star Wars' is Tatooine. Always a mention about Eden Prime. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime's one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. 
Can I? No. Oh, I want to see if I could actually dress. Switch outfits. See how that looks. Oh, if there are going to be glitches. Oh, yeah. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. The novice is a badass. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. It's such a cool armor. Damn, look at that stare down. Ah, oh, yeah, where was I? I wish I could have Nihilus as a teammate. It's for one mission. I think we got a Mass Effect 2 Jarrus Nihilus mod. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. You seem to me. I sense it. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society, and without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species, 
And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden Prime. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! We are under attack, taking heavy casualties! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't... Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold of 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. I see glitches. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. I see clear chest that Musk looked funny with the hair too. Oh. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! Hoorah! We are approaching drop point two. That's the Normandy again. Guess it doesn't work every time. Oh, that looks good though. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. Oh, Aiden got its hair back. Oh god, what happened here? This place got hit know. hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Keep your guard up. That looks good, though. Smells like smoke and death. <laughs> that sounds like an album cover. Oh, God. What happened here? Smoke and death. What do I have with me? Is that a shotgun? Yes, it is. Wait, is there no ammo in this game? Oh, yeah, damn. Sniper, do I have a weapons wheel? I do. I do not have powers. They got powers. He got powers. I don't have powers. Like I said, didn't play it beforehand. Squad. I have points. Soldier charm. Intimidate? Huh. I can't up that, right? Huh. What? 
哈。Damn. I wanted to play a biotic. That would have been so much better. <sighs> There. Perfect. Let's see. Toko helmet. Huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, oh, actually looks cool, the breathing mask. First aid. So, um, sure. I'm gonna be the medic. Let's see if we can up yourself. That's the most important thing right now. Can't toggle helmet here. Good. Okay, there's a map. Oh. I didn't remember that. It's looking good. Damn! Crack shot, what can I say? Decision to go back from ammo. Ammo. Huh. It's just so odd compared to the other Mass Effect games. Damn, I like that view though. Oh, we should take screenshots. I don't think I've ever seen a reflection like that in games through water. Huh. Oh, okay, okay. Parts will be around 30 minutes to 45. I might push a little bit further. Is that just loot? Armor plating. I don't know what's good. Eden Prime will never be the same again. The brawn will never be the same again. Yeah, up here. Nope. This way, right? Maybe. I have a map and I still. What happened here? Tip off my screen. Already. That's sniper. Guess I'm gonna be a sniper. Ripped right through his shields. They're at a chance. I don't think that's how the game works. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, ma'am. I think that's his basic armor. I think I've got him a modded armor. Okay. No choice. Need to heal. Injured squad knights. Can we heal him? No. I know how to use it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not injured. Never will I be. I've got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. I don't want the Ashley cutscene I'm part of this part. I want it part of the next part. So I'm gonna save here. 
Oops. Say, you say, I'm going to come on, tag. Yeah. And this part is over. But I'm already glad to be playing more. That's already feels special. The mods make the game so different. Wait for a first playthrough. Anyways. Oh, see you in the next part. Peace out.